commander, of course, a former one Super Series world champion, the general, Jonathan Haggerty. Yeah, Liam Nolan has a very similar style. To like that push kick, they set it up the same way. A lot of feints come off of that push kick, and they like to close that distance as well. On one fantasy on the one Super at the world's largest martial arts fantasy game, 57% of fans are tipping Brown for a win over Liam Nolan tonight. Good round kick upstairs from Nolan, Brown goes downstairs. Looks to the inside leak is Brown. Both men very sharp on the release of their kicks and their elbows. Brown kick there, trying to loop the shin around the back of the neck. Good jab, high kick from Nolan. Forces Brown against the rope. Brown ties him up. Rafael now is going to break them. Solid start, no real thinning out process in this one. Set for three rounds. Three judges right side, scoring on a 10 point must system. Hard to round again from Nolan. Jumping around has kick from Nolan, and that's South Paul's stance. Orthodox stance for Brown. Nolan is really starting to come into his own. We saw an excellent performance at a block uh, when he competed against Bong Pinoy last time we saw Liam Nolan. He just lost a little bit of majority decision because he wasn't as active as he wanted to be. He believes he's made the necessary adjustments to correct that here tonight. Real leg so far, working a treat for Liam Nolan. Inside leg kick, nicely done there for the young man from London. So let's start here from Nolan. Cracks away that left leg again. Brown's record 26, 10, and 1. Two time European kickboxing champion. 16, 6, and 1 for the Raw Combat League world champion, Liam Nolan. Nolan's being very active inside that close range. As soon as Brompinot steps into that range, he immediately starts firing those elbows. Nolan gloves up high, looking for his brow. Left round kick there. Back into the center ball. Gives up the experience to Brown. This is a formidable start from Liam Nolan. Catch up, counts a nicely time. He's a first from Nolan. Nice combination thrown off the release there. Liam Nolan's really starting to find his range. He's starting to put a lot of aggression into a lot of these combinations. Brown's going to have to solve this puzzle, this puzzle real quick. Lots of instructions from Nolsey out of Nolsey Academy in the corner of Liam Nolan. Final 10 seconds of the opening round. Once again, folks, give the more dominant athlete nine points on their personal scorecard. The less dominant athlete should get four. Wherever you're watching around the world, folks, how do you score us? Let us know across all your social media platforms. Second of three. Four yeah. clubs, one Super Series Muay Thai. Knees, elbows, all the good stuff. Probing jabs here from Nolan, trying to back round up to cracking the leg round kick again. And once more, both trying to damage the upper right ribs and also chop down the forearm of Brown. So he'll drop that forearm and maybe allow Nolan to kick him flush in the head. Nolan's yeah. got speed and precision. High kick here from Nolan again, relying on that back leg, being the power side of the southpaw. Nice long guard coming from Liam Nolan. You can see Brown's having a little bit of a hard time trying to cut through that guard. Brown has been very confident, very quiet around the hotel all week with his entourage, sightseeing around Singapore, making work quite well. Came in highly prepared for this one. Nolan as well, having spoken to him and his trainer Nolsey, very calm confidence in the young man. I read well to see on the biceps there of Nolan, where he's caught those round kicks off the left leg of Brown. Brown gouts kick off the back leg there from Nolan. Doubles up and a Brown double forearms guard. Arms turn forward, open fingers on both men here. Traditional tie starts will have the arms face outwards. For a few reasons. One of them to catch the jabs coming in and to also be able to parry those punches and also evade those elbows. Down against those elbows. We'll see plenty of elbows, I'm sure, in our main event. Nongo versus Sanapet Vertex for the advanced World Championship. Both men in that main event have come with the knockout with the elbows. Roping jab from Liam Nolan. Switch up. Round kick to the head there from Nolan. Thought about a jump he needed, Brown. See the Sakyant tattoos on the back there of Brown. The tattoos are traditionally done with the needle and the little hammer. Painful process. As long as they that's blessing usually, a protective blessing for the athlete. One kick there from Nolan. We know that's one of the specialties of Nolsey's Academy. We'll see it often from the general, Jonathan Haggerty. 
back down by the Jackson. 30 seconds left in the second round. Go. Idea from Brown to try and throw the 45 degree trajectory on the elbow. There's a downward elbow off the back arm from Brown. It needs a front kick. Get around here from Brown. Happy punch off the left hand. Four boss pump punch combination. Spinning elbow there from Brown. Jumping around here. Nicely done. Brown appreciated it. From Liam Nolan. Nice little elbow there, as you can see. Brown tried to close that distance with the spinning elbow. Liam Nolan. Two ones for the taking. Third and final as a great crowd builds into the Singapore indoor stakes. Three minutes. I like how he turned up the volume there in that second round. He needs more of that. I like how he's subtly stepping off to the left. You can see that this that front leg is very important. Whoever controls the, the, that left foot, whoever controls that center center step, is going to be able to control that right hand or the left hand in Liam Nolan's case. So it's going to be very important. I like to see him maybe step off that center line a little bit, throw that right hand a lot more. Right hand lead there from Brown out of orthodox stance. Poland's left glove up very high to the pin against that right round kick. Checks the low kick to the man from Great Britain. Right hand lead again from Brown. Anyone's put a tank in here, but who wants to dig a little deeper in the third and final round of really still the shot? Good right hand there from Brown. Wrong that right without a setup for most of this round so far. Oh, a good oh, 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 Dutch Muay Thai stylist. from Brown. Brown is dangerous inside that boxing range. He lets go of those combinations. He likes him to throw a little bit more, especially ending it with the, punt, uh, the kicks as well. He's doing a good job of piecing up that inside leg of uh, Liam Nolan. But Liam Nolan's got to be a little more active this time. He's got a minute and a half to do as much work as he can. And right now, it looks like Brown's figured out the range. He also figured out the distance as well. Nolan had a tremendous opening round. May have gone off the pace a little in the second. And it's Brown who's landing the better punches here in the third round. Good front kick there from Nolan. Cracking round kick. That's more like it from Liam Nolan. Damaging those upper right ribs of the Dutchman Brown. Spin back elbow from Brown. Nolan trying to make it pay. Brown pulling Nolan forward. 100 minutes to go, third and final. So anyone to the tanking. But it very well be one round of peace after two. There are no draws in one Super Series. Punch combination, full tool for Brown. Also the left hand. Out of South Pole starts for Nolan. Good Brown kick. You see, as this match is wearing on, you can see Brown's made the necessary adjustments inside the range, finding exactly where exactly Nolan is going to retaliate back. And it's just slightly out of the range when Nolan fires back. Final second, front kick from Nolan. 3 2 combination from Brown. Got Nolan against the ropes here. Hooking, capture, counter there from Brown. There it is, we had other judges in this featherweight contest. How do you score it, folks? Do you have it for Brown? Do you have it for Liam Nolan after three? You can see Brown was just trying to figure out that distance. You could see that Nolan liked that push kick, but once Brown kind of figured that out, he was able to start to let those hands go. Let's go to Tom Lau and find out our winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of battle, we turn now to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have called this contest in favor of your winner by unanimous decision from the blue corner, Liam Nolan. Liam Nolan takes a decision here in Singapore. The winner's medal goes back to the UK around the neck of young...